Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a Slack chatbot without writing any code. And for this tutorial, you will need a Slack account and a Flowxo account. And Flowxo is the chatbot builder that I'm going to use in this tutorial. So first, let's start by creating the chatbot. And I'm currently in my Flowxo dashboard. And if you just go to Flows, and in the right corner, you can click on New. And then we will add a blank flow. And this blank flow will happen when someone sends us a new message. So we will click on new message. We will connect it to all bots because we haven't specified any specific bots yet. And it must trigger when someone types in certain words or phrases. So a Slack jetbot is often used or maybe is only used in organizations where employees have questions. And standard questions can be automated by using a chatbot. And one of the most asked questions in an organization is what's the Wi-Fi password? So we'll type in Wi-Fi password. Another question employees often ask is how can I use the printer? So we'll type in printer. And the last question we are going to provide an answer to is holidays. So what are the holidays for 2021? Also one of the most asked questions by employees and then we have multiple message types so you can have a direct message so someone types in a direct message to your chatbot a mention so an employee will mention the chatbot for example at timebot what's the time or in our case at timebot what are the holidays for 2021 uh, this is a direct mention this is a mention which will happen at the end of a sentence really the same and over here. So over here really means that if someone types in what are the holidays for 2021 and your Slack chatbot is active in that channel, he will also automatically respond. So we will also check that one. We won't show a shortcut button because we don't have any buttons in Slack and we'll type in next. So that's the trigger. Then we need to create three different responses. So we can add an action which will be send a message and then our chatbot will send a message. So for example, we can say the Wi-Fi password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Can click on next and then we will add a filter. And the filter is really simple. You can just click on this Flowxo icon here and then scroll down until you see message. And the message must contain Wi-Fi password. We'll click on save. And when someone has a message that contains Wi-Fi password, we will reply with the Wi-Fi password is, and then those numbers. Then we need to create another one for the printer and for holiday. So let's do this. So click here to add an action, really kind of same way. This one is for the printer. So if you need any help with the printer, Andy created a video about it. And then I will just add a URL. I will add my URL. But in general, you can just add any URL, for example, to YouTube or Vimeo. We'll type in next. And also we'll add a filter. So we'll search for message again. Contains printer. And here's the last one. Click here to add an action. Send a message. The holidays of 2021 are, and I already searched this up, so here's a URL with the holidays for 2021, and we'll type in next, then add a filter with message contains holiday, save it. So that should be working. We will, the flow is currently off, so we will put it to on. And we can test this flow in, if we click on this icon right here. Then we can say Wi-Fi password. Okay, that's working. We can say holiday. And we can set printer. So that's all working. That's working great, actually. So if someone types in Wi-Fi password printer or holiday, the chatbot will automatically respond to that question.
The next thing we need to do is connect this chatbot to Slack. So we need to go to bots, then choose for new in the upper right corner, and then go with Slack. And here we need to fill in the name of the chatbot, so we'll call it Chatomize Slackbot. You can fill in a welcome text, but I will leave this blank. And we can also set the language, which I will set to English, but you can set it to a lot of different languages that you can use with Floexo. I will just set it to English. And then we need to fill in all kinds of information from Slack. So let's go to Slack. Just go to slack.com and then you need to click on sign in. I already have an account. If you don't have an account yet, you need to sign up with Slack. I will continue with Google. Then I will select my info at Chatomize account. And then I have already have some workspaces, but uh, I'm going to create another workspace. So then I are going to click on create a workspace. Then I will go with Chatomize as the name of my company. Click on next. What's your team working on right now? Creating a chatbot. Next. What do you email most about creating a chatbot? Uh, I will skip this step because the, these are the, 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 if you want to invite people, I currently don't want to do that. And that's it. We just created our own Slack workspace. And to connect our chatbot to this Slack workspace, we need to create a Slack app. So let's do that. So we need to go to api.slack.com slash apps. And here we can create a new app. So we can click on create an app. And we will call this the Chatomize Slackbot. And we will set the development Slack workspace to Chatomize. This is really important because if I delete the Chatomize workspace, automatically the app will also be deleted. So make sure that you don't delete the workspace after you created your Slack app. So then we can crea create the app. And then if we scroll down, here you can find the app credentials. And here's what we need is the client ID and the client secret. So if we copy this, we can paste that in Flowxo. So here you have the Slack app client ID. We can paste it there. And then we have the client secret. And we will click on show. We will copy it. And we will paste it here. I must say that it's important that you don't share the client ID and the client secret with anyone else besides yourself. Because if you share this with other people, other people will have access to your Slack app and that's not something that you want. So just keep it to yourself. Then the next thing we need to do is copy the rhetoric URI. So I'm going to copy this, then go back to Slack and then choose for the authorizations and permissions. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the rhetoric URLs and we can add a new rhetoric URL. We can copy it there and click on add. Then if we scroll down, we need to add bot token scopes and user token scopes. And if we don't do that, the chatbot will not work. So we will add some bot token scopes is the app mentions read, the channels join, the channels read, commands, the files, read, chat, write, the users, read, and the users, write. So those are all the bot token scopes. And then we also need to add user token scopes, which will be users, read, and will be users, Right, so that's automatically saved. Then if we go to interactivity and shortcuts, oh, we'll save the URLs, we didn't do that yet. So if we go to interactivity and shortcuts, then we will set the interactivity to on, and then we need to fill in the request URL, and that's a different one, that's the second one. So we got the interactive messages action URL. We also need to copy this one and we need to paste it over here. And then if we do that, we can click on save changes. And that's all we need to do with the Slack app. So if we go back to Flowxo and then click on next and then say add to Slack and then it will ask permission, we will allow the permission 
and then the Slack bot is added to your workspace. And then for example, you can say printer. And I will say, if you need any help with the printer, Andy created a video about it. But this is when you talk directly to the chatbot. What you can also do is, for example, go to a channel. Then we are going to include, so we are pressing this one, the, 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 the slash. You cannot see it, but I will do it in the bar. This is what you do. You type in that slash. Then you go to browse by app, click on Slack, add apps to this channel. Then we'll select the Chatamai Slack bot, which is our app. And then if you say printer, just in general, it will say if you need any help with the printer, add the created a video about it, or you, or you can say Wi-Fi password. And it will say the Wi-Fi password is the Wi-Fi password. So that's working. That's how simple it is. That's how you can create a chatbot on Slack without writing a single line of code. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.